Welcome back to Eager Gridless Beaver. She just got stung twice in the head during a very swarmy episode of Eager Gridless Beaver. Stick around! Okay, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a swarm problem with our bees. Uh, we came home from work today and we were just walking around doing a little bit of a tour and we noticed a lot of buzzing over in this area and this is the reason why. So A-Star is going to slap on her gear and uh, try to get these guys into a new home. Okay, we are all set here. We have the new uh, Swarms home. It's right here. It's some um, uh, an extra box that we had around. We've taken a couple of the um, frames from our other hive and put it in here so you see some bees. Now I'm going to go up and cut the branch that they're on take a hold of it and then lower it so that it has an area to be able to uh, pour it into here. Hopefully it'll all it all goes well. Just shake it over top, like, like bang, like not like, yeah. So the usual reasons for bees to swarm, it's usually done in the spring, uh, in this case the late spring when the nectar flow is on and that seems to be a popular time, which I've read. Uh, that's our case. And sometimes bees will also swarm because there's poor ventilation or, like I said, the population grows too quickly and you haven't provided enough space. So it appears to have gone pretty well. All of these are out here. I don't see the queen. But she might be in here somewhere and trying to find a safe space in her new hive. We hope. Bee swarming happens uh, quite often. You read about it in a lot of books. I see a lot of uh, posts in bee associations online that people are capturing the swarm. So I think it's a pretty natural phenomenon. Uh, what is a bee swarm? A bee swarm basically is when the bulk of your bee uh, population and the queen will decide to leave your hive. Uh, usually they set up uh, somewhat close to your hive, maybe in a tree, some, hopefully somewhere that you can reach. Is my original hive useless? No, or I'm hoping it won't be. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. I have been inspecting my hive where I did a lot a week ago. It had some swarm cells in there, so I am hoping that this old hive is going to have a new queen uh, emerge and take over and be queen right again. So this morning we started off with two hives, we now have three. Uh, what's that mean? Basically that uh, the two, the hive, the original hive that had it swarm, it's not going to be as strong. It's going to take uh, some time for it to reset up and have the queen uh, be mated and uh, hopefully come back to the hive and start laying within it. The hive or the swarm that we caught uh, we're going to have to make sure that it's going to be happy in its new location, uh, feed it, make sure that it starts drawing comb, basically like installing um, like a nuke, which we did the very first time we brought bees home. So we just have to kind of nurse those and our other hive, I'm just going to cross my fingers that it does not swarm. Some angry bees around here. Definitely dispersing from the top here, though. See, they, they were all just grouped there, they've all dispersed. They're going, they're climbing at the top. Okay, we're gonna let these guys calm down for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks.
thanks for sticking around and watching our bee keeping swarm extravaganza. If you're interested in this, I pity you. But if you are, you know, we have a lot of this stuff available for you to peruse. So go check it out. And if you like any of it, then you should subscribe. And if you subscribe, you should probably like it. I think so. All right. I think that's a very good idea. I can't argue with my Vulcan logic. So see you next time. Ha, ha, ha.